Hey, what's up, bro? So tell us a little bit about your car, man. This doesn't look like an OEM color. It's a bro. BMW color. It's blue BMW. Um, I mean, I just put on. I mean, whatever branding guys, pretty much I have. The only thing difference was our our splitter. Dude, we're sponsored by eBay, but this man's dad works at a body shop, and this looks so legit, man. Don't tell me you scrape your lip. Okay, I thought you scraped your lip. Just, um, the paint was wet, and uh -huh. I put on my car cover. Ah, oh, damn. Welcome back to another video, guys. We're installing some coilovers today, and I'll show you guys that in a bit. We're installing Megan Racing coilovers on this car. I had no clue you had to shave the rears. I'm so sorry, bro. I would have told you to get something else, but I just heard Megan's just a really good brand. Yes, guys, another boring coilover install, but this is for a TSA. Damn, they came up pretty high. Oh, no, that's the rear. Dude, this shit's about to be slammed. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely raise that. Wow, these look way better than my coilovers. They're pretty heavy too. All right, so we had the car jacked up in the air. It was hard getting those studs out because this dude hit it with like five oogadoogas. When you're doing this install, you have to undo the 17 bolt right there, put a socket there, and then put another socket there. So you need like two wrenches. And there's like a little 14 back here, but I'll show you guys what I mean in a bit. Okay, so you just want to get this nut off right here. I had the homie hold this right here. He just held the wrench just straight. And then I just went ham on this side right here. And you should be able just to take it off easily like this. If you want to get this bottom nut out, you need your fork and a flathead screwdriver. Just stick it in the hole and this baby should come out easy. There we go. Get the bottom fork off. I like to put the nut there in just a little bit. So when you're tackling this bolt right here, it doesn't slide around. It will say 10 millimeter on there, but it's actually a 14. Just grab your 14 on there. Break it loose like that. And take it off. Gone. <laughs> For the top, it is a 14, but I think we could get it out with a 15. And then this is a 12 right here. Grab the breaker bar and it'll come off easily. Don't try to do this with your hands. Yeah, I think you gotta try. Everything's loose in the Yeah, that's, a, that's not good, dude. <laughs> Should be you doing this work. Minty boys. All right guys, so I just got the fronts on. Well, not both of them, but just this side. And it was pretty difficult putting the fork back on and putting this bolt back on. Cause if you guys know, it should just slide in really easily. It's kind of weird this time. Um, I didn't get to adjust it to where I want it to be, but we're just gonna see how it sits, how it is now. So we can just see how much I need to raise it or lower it. Let's get on the other side. I just got done with the fronts. It took about an hour because I was just messing around and recording, but everything went on pretty smoothly. I'm gonna put you guys up and we're gonna see how low or high this thing is. I think it's gonna be pretty high. Okay guys, so we made it to the shop. Two brothers body shop. We're here with the TSX. Manny's silver one is clean. We're gonna get started on the rears. It's best to start taking out the rear seats. Well, let me show you guys how to do that. You like press on it and you just pull it up until it clicks. Press on it and then pull out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So once you get these seats out, you need to access this bolt right here, and I believe it's a 11 mil. I don't want to mess with the sway bar in link just yet, so I'm going to undo the 17 millimeter bolt. Pull out the sway bar link like this and undo the tops. There we go. Hey, let's go, baby. Let's go. 
this. You will have to shave them. As you can see, it's not like, we have to shave it a lot. So we're gonna be shaving this thing about a quarter of an inch. guys so it is day well not day well day two for you guys but it's been a couple of weeks and i had some problems with my car started went out replaced it it's all good anyways here's the tsx we actually ended up uh lowering the car about 2.5 inches or one finger if you guys do get megan racing coilovers just stick them in and you should get this right height right here about one finger so or a two inch drop but yeah it looks really really good and i'm really happy about this bro are you, are you happy about this yeah all right, so let's go ahead and get a better look at this. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you so much. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. I think we're at 1,700 right now or 600. I'm not sure. But we've been growing really, really quickly. That's crazy. And I have not forgot about the 1K subscriber giveaway. I have some new stuff coming soon for next week. And it's going to be really awesome. I hope you guys stay tuned for that. And let's get some shit done this week. Have such a productive week. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.